Welcome to Eternal Mana, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Psalm 50, God Indicting Hypocritical Worshippers. And we have already looked at five charges that God has brought against his people. Today, we want to look at charge number six, and it comes in verse 20. And again, it has got to do with the mouth, the tongue. You sit and testify against your brother and slander your own mother's son. The tongue had been used against neighbors and strangers. But very sadly now, the tongue is being used against those who are closest to you, your family. And it says, you sit. Sit meaning it is something very intentional and deliberate. Sit means that while you're having a family meal, you're having very close social contact with them and uh, you sit in judgment over them and you say some very nasty things and you accuse them. You sit and testify against your brother. That means that uh, you are uh, accusing them. You're pointing a finger at them. Now, of course, there is a place where we need to very lovingly, compassionately, sensitively, tenderly, we need to point out wrongs in each other. And there is a place and a time to do that. But here it almost seems that there is an arrogancy, a holier-than-thou attitude in uh, sitting in the seat of judgment and pointing that finger at a brother, at a sister, in your own family. Uh, the Lord Jesus Christ said in Matthew 10, 21, during the great tribulation period, brother will betray brother to death, a father his child, children will rebel against their parents and have them put to death. Very scary, isn't it? That's what will happen during the great tribulation period. And uh, God says, you slander your own mother's son. That uh, word slander means you take away their good name. A good name, Solomon says in Proverbs 22, 1, is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. So slander means you take that good name, the good reputation, that your brother, your sister, your parents have, and you uh, throw mud at it. You throw mud at that good name. Your mother's son refers to your own biological brother. And uh, we don't have to look too far into the scripture where we uh, saw that Cain killed his own brother. Why? It was over worship the very same theme that we are studying in Psalm 50. Cain killed his brother Abel. In Micah chapter 7 and verse 6 we read, a man's enemies are the members of his own household. And then we read in Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 4, beware of your friends, do not trust your brothers, for every brother is a deceiver and every friend a slanderer. That was why God's people were judged and they were taken into exile and the temple raised to the ground. So a good question to ask ourselves today, how are we using our mouth? Against strangers, against uh, neighbors, against uh, members of the church? and against those within our own family circle. How are we using our tongue? Are we using that tongue to build up, to encourage, to strengthen, to comfort, to cheer, to heal? Or are we using it very destructively, bringing about a lot of tension in the family and uh, the lack of peace and uh, we need to be very vigilant. Here is a good exercise for you. I have given this to uh, the young people. 
uh, list at least 20 sins that your tongue, my tongue is capable of committing. Will you do that? Take a sheet of paper and write down 20 sins, at least minimum, that we are capable of committing with our tongue. And let's surrender it to the Lord and ask him to use our tongue for good. God bless you. Have a wonderful day today. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.